One of the target devices will be OWASP, Broken Web Applications, or BWA. Now, Broken Web Applications is a virtual machine that hosts a lot of applications prepared for training purposes. These apps are intentionally uh, have a lot of vulnerabilities and can also be accessed from a main page. The virtual machine is prepared by OWASP, Open Web Application Security Project, which is one of the most important communities uh, around in the uh, application security market. So I'm now on my host machine. It's a MacBook. Open a web browser and Google for OWASP, Broken Web Applications. Uh, those are my keywords. The first website is the official website of the Broken Web Applications Project hosted under the OWASP.org domain. So let's click it. Now this is the web page of Broken Web Applications. I'll call it BWA from now on. So there are some explanations about this project here, so you can read them if you want. But over here on the right-hand side, we have download the latest release. So click on that. Now we're directed to the SoundForge website. So these are the side effects of GDPR. We'll have to see a lot more approval pages like this one. Okay, so these are all the releases of the project, and the latest version is right here at the top. So click on it, and now I have three different options to download. A .ova file, a .zip file, and a .7z file. Now, an OVA file is a virtual appliance used by virtualization applications such as VMware and Oracle VirtualBox. It's a package that contains files used to describe a virtual machine. ZIP and 7Z are the archive files, and they contain the exact same VM. So you can download any one of them where the 7Z file is smaller. Okay, so I want to download the 7Z file, which is the most popular one already. So click on the link and download. We'll start in just a couple of seconds. There we go. And the download's finished. So now I have an OWASP BWA archive file. So I'll open it with an unarchiver and double click. And here are the files inside the archive. So I already have the VM, so I won't extract it again. When you extract it, you will have a folder like this. So go to the folder, and here are the files of the virtual machine. If you run the .vmx file, double-click, the VM starts. If it's the first run, it asks you whether you moved it or copied it. Select Copied and Continue. Right, so while the VM is starting, let's have a look at its settings by clicking this button. Click here to look at the memory. 1024 megabytes of RAM is recommended. Click Show All to turn back to the settings. Network settings are here. So my VM is in an unrecognized network mode. Don't pay any attention to that. Your VM is probably in NAT mode by default. I choose Share with my Mac so that I can use the VM in that mode. So now the VM has started and we're ready to log in. It has a root user with the password OWASP BWA by default. I haven't changed it before, so I'll log into the VM by using this credential. If config to check if it has got an IP address, and there it is, so yes it has. Now, ping a system on the internet. Google DNS, for example, 8.8.8.8, .8 and we'll receive the replies. So it seems everything's fine, and we're ready to use OWASP Broken Web Applications VM. In this phase, you should be able to reach the OWASP BWA application inside your Kali machine. So go to Kali, open Firefox browser, and type the IP address of the OWASP machine with the HTTP prefix. If you don't want to memorize the IP address of the application to enter each time, or if you want your test more realistic, you can give a domain name to your application, 
go to slash etc slash hosts file and enter a line for the application machine, IP address of the application, space, a domain name to reach the application, save the hosts file, and close. Now, you can reach the application with the domain name you gave in hosts file.